Hi, I'm Tash from Heart and Design. Thanks for coming along and learning to draw with me. I hope your journey in art is fun and therapeutic for you. And remember, there's no right or wrong in art. I'm just giving you the tools to get you started. This is our how to draw a beach scene, a beach and a parasol scene. You'll need a pencil, and it will do. I have HB, a rubber eraser, <coughs> or a kneadable eraser. Okay, so let's just get started. Make sure you have a sharpener as well. Get that pencil nice and sharp at the point. I'm just going to do mine now. Excuse the noise. Mine is an electric sharpener. I can recommend it if any of you are out there with um, any wrist or hand problems. Okay, so with these sheets I always put the difficulty level so this is not um, a very beginner this is just one up level from beginner because there's a little bit more detail in than you'll find in level one we're going to trace one two and three and we're going to use this space to draw it completely then there will be four videos it says here color with your choice of medium the other four videos I show you how to color with colored pencils watercolors acrylic paints and pastel pencil and I may even at some point also do um, <clears throat> marker pens like sharpies type of thing okay so we'll see now to get started you are to trace over one two and three now the best thing to do when you're doing detail is to hold your pencil at the point or quite close to the point okay now I'm gonna hold it quite far away because I need you to see what I'm doing but you can hold it, you'd be better off holding it like that. You get more control. I don't have as much control, so I shall do the best as I can holding it this far away. So all I'm doing is tracing over the lines just to give you an idea of how it feels to draw those things. These are the waves in the sea. Then we're going to draw the bucket, which is actually really is just a square with some little arches on top. Then we've got a little spade, which again is a square with a line and a little curve on top. Okay. Then we're going to draw the towel, which is basically a long rectangle, but with wibbly sides. And then the lines down, it can be wibbly as well, because it won't be a straight towel. Nothing will be straight like that on the beach, will it be all settled in the sand? So again, wiggly lines. The bucket's just really that kind of shape and then you'll see the towel is just like a wriggly rectangle with some sh with some lines on some straight stripes on that's all it is I hope you can see that now we're going to go on to the second one we've already drawn the sea the towel and the bucket oh and we mustn't forget the spade so the spade is basically an arch shape with another one in this is how I would draw one and then a square at the bottom it's really simple when you start to see objects and things around you as simple shapes it makes drawing so much easier okay then we've got the parasol so we're going to come up and draw the outside of the parasol first we're going to trace that now if we're going to draw it again you don't need to do all these bits I'm just showing you we've got that little point at the top come round an arch at the top like that okay that's your parasol and then what I didn't do was the lines and then a the little bit of sand where it's tucked in so you'll have the lines and then a little bit of sand tucked in and that's basically your parasol now next on here we've got a sun you won't be drawing the whole thing but the sun is a circle but what I've done this time in stage one it would have just been a line in step two we're just changing that and giving it a bit of fullness to create some kind of depth okay so some little lines coming then we've got the birds so we've got an arch and then another arch coming off it and then all we do is copy it underneath to make the birds that's it it's all you need to know so I'm going to draw a line under that that was just my examples for you we're now going to do the whole thing in one now what I would do is start with the foreground what's in the front okay so I'm going to draw the bucket and the towel first so square almost square anyway I would make the sides a bit wider at the top come along with a curve and then another curve to show the back that's all it is one curve followed by another one then we'll do the handle okay now we're going to come behind the bucket and draw an arch 
like so and the handle kind of tucking behind it just straight lines then coming out with another little square shape for the bottom of the spade that's it done then we're going to <clears throat> put a little mark in the sand where the parasol is going to go because that then marks the space where we're going to put the parasol so then we know the towel needs to be over here now the towel is about the same size as the bucket and spade if you look at the picture so I'm looking at the sizes I'm always looking back observation 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 if I tell you anything about drawing it's look at what you are trying to draw very closely and see what shapes are there especially if you're doing things from real life what shapes can you see and further down the line in step three and four that's what we will be doing in future sheets learning how to draw things from around us okay we're going to come in with <clears throat> some stripes there we've got our wiggly towel okay now i'm going to do the parasol because that's in in the foreground it is in front of the sun and then we can draw the sun behind it so i'm probably i'm going to look now if you can see right on here <clears throat> i'm judging how far where that parasol part should be so it's it's kind of more over covering actually the spade and bucket and spade than it is the towel so i'm going to just lightly now i'm holding the pen pencil quite far away i'm going to lightly now just put my bottom shape on and then my top shape and then i can decide whether i like it or not before actually pressing in and i do so <clears throat> i'm going to draw my line up here now i've drawn the line up there and it's made me realize i've drawn it too high up so although i was happy with the shape it was too far away so now that I know I can do the shape here at the top of the parasol stand you can see one loop there then we've got one there and one there okay this will be where the top is so I'm going to create the top put the little top in and then we're going to come down to that line and down to that line then we're going to come around that way and around that way and there's our parasol now it's the sunshine which is behind this side of the parallel and it's just a circle but with a bit missing and remember we're going to kind of create a little bit of a difference rather than just doing a straight line that was in level one and just going to give it a bit of interest then over here we're going to do our seagulls which was two arches and then another arch underneath and this one is just a different angle to be honest you can put them anywhere you like then we're going to come under here and we've got our wavy sea lines so we go like that we'll stop there so we don't cross over our parasol because of course the parasol will be in front okay and there we have it <clears throat> it's done it's finished oh one more line i think over the top and then we'll have two two different colors for the sea so that's our beach and parasol scene done now what you can do is use what you've learned from that and create your own beach scene it doesn't have to be exactly like mine i just made that one up you can do whichever you want now the next four videos will explain what we do here which is step three color with your choice of medium i've got a video showing you acrylics watermelon uh, watermelon i keep saying that i did a watermelon painting yesterday watercolors pastels and colored pencils so um there will be four different types of medium okay and um i will time stamp the video on here so that you can see when you need to go to them so thanks for joining me hopefully you'll pop along and do one of those coloring videos if not for now you've got it for another day so again thank you so much for subscribing on my on my channel and subscribing on my website um it's five pounds a month for all the sheets and all the videos whenever you want them on demand so um it's a nice low cost but will be there whenever you decide you need it um, also check out my journal system chameleon journals these are the chameleon sheets for the journals um, and see if that's something you might like as well it really does help when you see the description video i've got of it of how it works in your life it, it makes sense it's all bespoke to you okay i'm going i'm going stop talking tash have a good day everyone bye